Hello guys, today we are working on the Mark 6 GTI again. This is my boy's car. Um, we're gonna be doing a ECS tuning exhaust cutout with the switch. So, um, you know, you just open up the thing and just dump it after the dump pipe. So, um, as you can see, this exhaust, it's a little iffy. You see this, it's like sticking in, touching the side for some reason. Um, we'll see if we can fix it as well. All right, so here's some of the things you're gonna get in the kit. The switch, the harness, the pressure valve. You need to plug this into, um, well, I'll show you where to plug it in. Some hose, and then the actual piece itself. All right, so come in the motor. There's a few things you can do on this in order to run the little boost pipe. If you don't wanna pay the extra, like, $100 for the electric one. You can get an adapter for here and you get a boost tab. You can drill into here and put um, like an actual little hose and then an adapter like this to it. Or like they did here, there's a little um, place for an adapter. So I don't like how they just left it like this though. This is pretty crappy, but we're gonna fix that. That's where we're gonna get our boost tab for the exhaust cutout. Um, pretty much I think right there is where we're gonna mount our our valve and then we're gonna run everything inside the car through right there underneath the battery there's a little um, nipple to go inside the car all right guys so what do you want to do buy yourself a little pack of these vacuum connectors um, so make yourself a little adapter so from here you're gonna go to the filter and from the filter you're gonna go into your boost tab now that's gonna be the vacuum that side right here this little connector is gonna go down to the actual exhaust all right so here we go put a little adapter in there Kevin's ran the bitch. harness through here yo <laughs> gotta ruin the video bro run it through here now we're gonna put this somewhere in here and now i'm gonna take out the battery uh so i can get a better access to the connector just pull in the connection and put right. it into there. So, you want to remove the that. battery, get yourself a thick boy right here, okay. you know? All right, you want to come over here? <laughs> All right. You want to come underneath the car by the clutch pedal. There's a big, um... Yo, where's the opening? I'll show you right now. There's a big, like, uh, fire. It's like a plastic thing. It's like a bush so the water doesn't get in. Right there. right there so you're gonna feed your lines through there and then we're gonna come inside and do the connection all right so feed it through there we're gonna come over here and it's pretty much that big uh, rubber nipple down there hey hey all right, so you're gonna pull that there and pretty much the connection is gonna be right there Made simple right there, right? Gotta tell me twice. Mm -hmm. All right, forgot to record this part, but um, it took out this little piece, pull it up. There's just little clips in there, It'll look like this, like this one right here. If you pull it up, it'll come out. Um, yeah, since this already has like a hole for this shit, we decided to just cut it here and put the switch here. It will look nicer with a nice little light, and we can get a power source from right here. So we'll do that. I'm gonna remove this part, cut it. So we were, you know, doing our thing. Ooh, careful. Sorry. So, um, this had, this car had meth, but as you can see, it had a fucking hack job. Um, most of the cables are just thrown in there. And then we were, where I was going to put the switch right there, they had the little light when the, you know, the meth was going to turn on and off. So I'm going to remove that. And this right here is when I'm going to put my switch. As you can see, look, look how they wired up their Euro light. I mean, their Euro switch, that shit is horrible. I don't even know why they would do it like that. All right, uh, I guess I'll have to leave that for another video to fix that. But as of now, we're just gonna cut this out real nice and get some power from here. All right, so switch is on right here. Pretty much all I did was I used a little Dremel, cut it out, put in the switch. I'm gonna run the harness from underneath the car. All I need to wire up is a power and a ground. So there's already a ground in there. I'm just gonna tap into here. I'm gonna find a nice 
12 uh, volt power source from here. Okay, so the bracket for the O2 sensor, this one was down here. So what I did is I moved it up. Uh, there's a hole back there, so I put a little zip tie in there and then the switch is nice and tight in there. I This is the vacuum line that goes all the way over here. I haven't zip tied it yet, I just put it in here for now. Um, and it goes to the boost tab. You can do it either here or here, like I said before. Uh, now, you get the other line. Follow it all the way down this path, but don't get it close to the exhaust because it's definitely going to melt. So what I did, you come through here. Right, the exhaust is down there, so pull the cable all the way here and go underneath the subframe to the hole underneath this plastic by the control arm. Feed the line under there and just pull it out there. This is the section that we're going to cut. Okay, so you're going to want to get yourself a measuring tape. Now, you don't want to cut the full length. So you're going to go halfway there because the exhaust pipe has to go inside there and there so so about eight and a half eight and a half inches is what you want to cut off the this one so give yourself some space you see this one goes from a two and a half to a three inch this is a three inch adapter so measure from like here on Eight and a half. But also remember, I don't know why this exhaust has that, but it has a bend in here. Um, so I have to measure it, get some piece of tape, put it in there, and then just cut it. And I taped up where I need to make my cuts, so I can make them nice and straight. All right. Once you have your piece nice and cut out, next thing you want to do is just install this. This should pretty much just fit inside there. All right. So we already finished button up everything over here so little thing we did is we zip tied it away from the exhaust because this is you know um little rubber hose so pretty sure it might melt uh, it had the meth thing here uh there was already a ground in here and i took power from the this fuse right here that was already tapped into so all i did was i used the cables they already used for the button and i got these little things off of amazon so pretty much it solders them and makes them waterproof and everything. So all you gotta do is heat it up. I'll show all you. right, so now you can see I fixed exhaust. So it's nice and even now and straight. Oh, we installed the exhaust cutout. We come over here to the motor. Like I said, I put the valve there, put zip ties all over and everything is nice and ran so you can't really see it. Um, if there were black lines, it would be a lot nicer, you know, clean. But that's done. And then on the inside, it looks pretty, like it belongs, it doesn't even look like it's not there. That's open, that's closed, and pretty much that's it, guys. Alright, so compressor shut off. This is with it off, and now this is with it on. That's my boy right there. That's with it off. Just fixing some stuff. Yeah. I was gonna tell you you could use some motor mounts. I open it. Oh, you opened it? I was like, damn, that's not loud. If you enjoy the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. There will be a lot more content coming soon.